love Sunday mornings because both their parents cooked pancakes for the family. Sam and Zoe started eating when 10 pancakes were ready. Zoe had four pancakes. Sam had three pancakes. Now, we know that four plus three equals seven. So, altogether, they had seven pancakes. Now, mom is wondering how many pancakes are left. We made ten pancakes till now. The kids ate seven. How many are left? Now, if you remember, in order to find out how many are left or remaining, we need to subtract or take away. So, from the 10 pancakes that were made, we can subtract or take away 7 pancakes that were eaten. Let's do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So we have taken away 7 pancakes. Now, how many are remaining? 1, 2, and 3. So we have 3 pancakes remaining. In math, we can write it as 10 pancakes minus 7 pancakes equals 3 pancakes. This symbol is called minus and it is the symbol for subtraction. We already know that this symbol is called equals or equal to. And the answer that we get on subtraction is called the difference. Now in my earlier video, Language of Addition and Subtraction, we learned about some keywords which give us a hint that we need to subtract to solve a problem. Some of the keywords are minus, less, left, remaining, take away, difference between, and decrease by. Don't forget to see the video to see examples of the usage of these keywords. Now let's practice some subtraction. We need to solve 5 minus 3, which means that we need to take away 3 from 5. Let's solve this by using objects. We could draw objects or use real objects. I'm going to draw stars. So to represent 5, I will draw 5 stars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now we need to subtract or take away three from these. So I will cut them to mark as removed. One, two, three. Now how many are we left with? One, two. So this means that five minus three equals two. Now what if we were taking real objects? So let's assume that these stars are real. And if they are real objects, I can move them around. So I have my five real stars to represent the number five. And to take away three, I can actually remove three stars. One, two, three. And how many am I left with? One and two. So five minus three, as we already know, is two. Let's solve seven minus four. And this time I'm going to use flowers to represent the numbers. So here are the seven flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have to subtract four. So I will cut four flowers. One, two, three, four. And we are left with one, two, three flowers. This means that seven minus four equals three. Now let's do 9 minus 3. And I'm going to use candies to represent numbers. Here are the 9 candies. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have to take away 3 out of those. So remember, you can cut or remove. Let me cut 3. 1, 2, 3. And how many are we left with? One. Two, three, four, five, six candies. 
And this tells us that 9 minus 3 equals 6. And here we have 5 minus 4. Let me take real balls this time. So I have 5 real balls. So since they are real objects, I can take them away. So I have to do 5 minus 4. Now we have to subtract 4, which means I can remove 4 balls. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we are left with just 1. So 5 minus 4 equals 1. Miss R, I was listening to your explanation of subtraction and I must say that I have understood it really well. Will you be teaching us more subtraction techniques? Of course, Sam. Very soon. Please like, share and subscribe.